What is going on guys, Shuri Kanase here and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys some ways that you can spy on top stores or products so that you can find better ways to find those winning products. Now this is going to be a kind of a mixed video because I'm going to be showing you some tricks to find best selling Shopify stores as well as find products from Shopify stores directly. And we're not going to be going over the usual AliExpress sort by best selling or Facebook feeds strategies in this video. So stick till the end so that you can find out exactly how you can find these top stores or these top products to sell. But without wasting any more time, let's jump right into the video and show you guys exactly how you can spy on these different stores and products to make a profit for yourself. All right, so the first way which I have for you guys, which is a really good way to find those top selling products is through eBay. Yes, you heard me right, eBay. Now specifically for this first slide, I'm going to have a link for you guys directly to the specific eBay page. But what I want to do is go ahead and show you guys that page before covering this slide. So this is exactly the page that I'll have the link for you guys in the description. But this is basically an explore eBay page where you get to spy on the best sellers for eBay, meaning which products have been selling the most for eBay. And I've personally found this website to be really, really helpful when it comes to spying on these specific eBay stores and finding more data when it comes to products. So let's go back to our slide really quick and read what it says. So in order to use this website effectively, this specific eBay page, what you want to be doing is basically searching various keywords on this page to generate the most recent best-selling products which are selling basically worldwide on eBay. That means this is not just limited to the United States, you get to basically choose these different countries which you can find their best-selling products for. But one way to really spy on these stores effectively is to use this search bar right here to find any specific niches you may have in mind or any specific product. But what I'm going to show you is the second portion which is clicking through the various categories which are available right here in this section. So it says, show me the most blank. So sold items, viewed items. You want to make sure that you're on the sold items list and then in the last seven days. This is really important. This is where we start our general spying basically. We want to see what's the hottest products in the last seven days. And basically you can change the specific categories right here. Or if you're a general store, you can just leave it at all categories. And once you do that, it'll basically just show you all of these different products in these categories which you can list on your Shopify store. And this, I found, is an amazing way to do spying on other stores, specifically eBay stores in this case. Because not a lot of dropshippers or Shopify store owners know about this method. But let's just go through and see what kind of products are there. So it looks like this vape, vape uh, juice is has 858 buyers, while... Um, this mother daughter personalized photo key ring has 364 buyers so as you can see we're currently looking at the uk which is why it is showing the price in euros but let's go ahead and change this to the united states so you guys get a better understanding but here we go this is the united states so so these are specifically the products which have been selling really well in the past seven days according to ebay so one really good way to just spy on other people is just to look at these categories and see what kind of products are unique and quirky, maybe something you've never seen before. So let's just scroll through really quick, try to see what else we can find. Let's go to the best sellers home and garden. Let's look through these selections and see what we can find. So these are all again products selling really well. And let's say for example, we think this product is really quirky and cool. All you have to do is just click on it and it'll take you directly to the eBay listing. So as you can see, clearly this product is a real good winner on eBay. It has 1,755 sold. And if we click on those sold, we can see the dates when they were sold. And as you can see, a lot of them just sold today, March 30th when I'm recording this video. So really a good product, possible winner for your Shopify store if you're running a general store. But even if you're not running a general store, all you have to do is just come up here and go to the specific category which you're selling in. But this is really an amazing way which I've been using more and more recently to spy on these eBay stores and find those products which I can personally sell on my Shopify store. Remember, it is super important that you make sure the past seven days are chosen and that you're looking at the sold items, not viewed items. 
there's a big difference between just viewing an item and actually something that is selling. But if you want to really dive in, using specific keywords can really help you when it comes to product research. And a really good way to spy on specific eBay stores is just to directly write in the name of the specific niche you're trying to find a product for. So let's say, for example, we're trying to find items for the dog niche. I would just go ahead and type in dog and there you go. You see a lot of different variations that just pop up right away. But we want to keep it simple. We'll just type in dogs and here you go. All of the items selling the most in the past seven days just for dogs. And you can just buy on these specific stores directly. Let's say, for example, you really like this product. You're not only limited to this product because when you click on a specific link, all you have to do is go to the section on the right and click on the profile of this specific seller. And the main reason why we do this is because we want to see what other products they have for sale and something that could be possibly additional winners for us. So let's do just that sort by buy it now and sort by what you want to do is change this to ending soonest. And the reason why do we do this is because ending soonest listings are the ones that have been running for the longest periods of time. So as you can see, more product just for dogs, 19 plus sold, 148 plus sold, 11 plus watching, really cool products which the seller is selling. And if you're in the dog niche, you may want to consider selling these types of products. But this is one way to spy on these eBay stores and really find specific products related to your niche. Or if you're general, just look in all categories and find products to sell. But let's go back to our slideshow and continue on. The link for this specific listing will be in the description below, but search various keywords again relating specifically to your niche or if you're a general store, just looking at all categories. And remember, the more creative you get, the more keywords that you give eBay, the better your results. But be sure to make sure that it is on past seven days and it's on sold items. But the second way to spy on more stores is also related to eBay, and this is the eBay advanced search. Again, I'll have a link for this specific web page in the description. It'll be the second one right below the first one. But what you want to do is basically go to that link and I'll show you guys what it is exactly. But it is going to look something like this when you click on it. And this is a little bit more advanced search just because you have to type in specific keywords and it's not going to show you anything else besides that. But you have to keep some things in mind when it comes to these specific categories. What you want to do is make sure that you set up these parameters correctly. What you want to do is make sure that you click sold listings and that will be available right here under search including. You want to make sure sold listings is chosen and from there you want to make sure that buy it now is chosen as well and that's under buying format so right here. And once you do that you want to make sure that new and worldwide for location are chosen. So condition is new and location which will be right here you want to make sure that you're from preferred locations, it's worldwide. And finally, the last parameter we have to set up is 200 results per page. And that'll be at the end right here. But once you have done that, it is basically a matter of searching for specific keywords. And again, let's keep the dog niche in mind and let's just and again, let's keep the dog niche in mind and just type in the keyword dog and let's see what we can find. So once you do that, hit search and here we go. We'll start to see all of these specific products related to that keyword. And what this advanced search lets us do is that it lets us look at all of these specific products which are just not selling in the United States but worldwide. So as you can see, this one's selling in the UK. This one is coming from China. So it could be possibly available on AliExpress. And the best part about this is that all of these products have already been sold. That's why it's green right here. These are all sold listings in the past. But what you want to do when you do a specific search for a keyword is to look at specific products which may be appearing over and over again, like this specific product right here. There is the ultrasonic silencer kit outdoor anti barking device. So I've seen a lot of these anti barking device already on Facebook, but this is something that I've not seen before this type of product at least. This is a completely different design and right away we found a potential winning product just doing the advanced search, which, which is why it is so powerful. But let's go back to the slide and continue. So again, the advanced search works on keyword basis, but you want to make sure that to search various keywords related to the niche or any specific product you have in mind. It does not have to be a specific niche. But one good thing to do when you're doing these advanced searches is to keep track of the specific keyword that you're typing in because 
every time you type this keyword in, let's say I type this keyword in today, but then two days later I type it in again, this is going to be a completely different list full of completely different products. And that is because new products sell each day on eBay and keeping track of these keywords is going to let us come back to these products later on and find something else every single time. So it is sort of evergreen because every time you search the keywords, you're going to see something new. But this is a really powerful way to do product research. Again, you want to keep the specific parameters that we went over in mind before doing the search. But remember to do a specific search on this web page and the more specific you are with your search, the better the results. But now that we've gone over that spying method, let's go ahead and go on to our final spying method, which directly relates to Shopify stores. And this is spying through Shopify exchange or flippo.com. Now, for those of you that don't know what these two websites are, these websites are basically websites where you can sell your Shopify stores. And a lot of big Shopify stores have been sold on these websites, stores which have generated over a million dollars every single year. And this is honestly an amazing way to do spying on other stores. And this one is again related to Shopify directly. The previous two were on eBay, but those still gave you a good base when it came to spying on stores and finding those products. But through Shopify exchange, you're going to find a lot of winning Shopify stores, which you can basically mimic and spy on to see what they're selling and maybe what is their best seller. So let's go ahead and go on to the exchange website to show you guys exactly what you should be looking out for. So right when you land on the exchange website, this is what you're going to see. And if you scroll down, you're going to see all of these Shopify stores, which are currently available for sale. The first one looks like it has done around $14,000 in revenue, not too much. But if we continue on this one, it has done $1.7 million. And it looks like it really took off in September of 2018. Looking at this graph right here, what I can tell is that they found one single product and they scaled it all the way to the moon in Christmas. And then after Christmas, their product sort of died out. But it was still somewhat consistent because they did around $148,000 in February. But as you can see, this is a private listing, meaning you're going to have to sign a consent form if you were to click on view listing and message the seller as if you were interested in purchasing the website. But there are other websites available on the exchange marketplace which are directly available for you to see, such as this one. It looks like it's a water saving showers Australia website and the revenue is not that great. But the main thing that we want to do is go up and click on browse all stores. We're going to basically be browsing drop shipping stores because that's what we're interested in. So if we go to business type, we can see that drop shipping is the first option. Go ahead and check that. And from then on, you're going to only see drop shipping stores. But again, you're going to have to look through these listings to see which ones are not private or which ones are private, but have their store name in the description for you to get an idea. So the first one is a private listing, but as you can see, it says the puppy pal business. Now, I don't know about you, but directly reading that name, I could tell that it is sort of related to the dog niche and it is a growing Shopify store. If we go back to our slides, what I highly recommend is that you do not look at the stores which have one big curve and nothing after. And I'll show you guys what I mean exactly. But this is a great store that you should be looking at if you were to spy on it. But again, it is private, so you may have some trouble, but there are a lot of ones that are not private, which you can directly go on their Shopify store and try to see what their winning product may be. But as you can see, this store right here, it had one big spike in sales and the sales were not even that great, $180 in a single day, and then nothing after, barely anything after. These are the kinds of stores that you want to avoid at all costs. They are not doing that great. They had basically one winning product and after they, that died out, they don't know what to do and they're trying to sell the website. But go ahead and look through these specific products, see what kind of stores that you can find, but go ahead and look through these stores, see which ones are available for you to directly spy on. And it looks like this one is the real deal right here. It has done about $5 million in sales and it has been really consistent. And it looks like it started in 2015, which is really good. But this is a great way to basically dig through all of these stores and see what is out there for you to spy on, basically take ideas from. from. But let's go back to our slideshow and finish off the slide. So again, look for stores which have a consistent graph rather than one big spike and nothing else after. But another way for you to find the winning products once you do find these stores on these websites is to just use Commerce Inspector, which is a Google Chrome extension, 
which will let you sort by best selling or you can simply copy and paste this text right here at the end of the URL so that you can directly spy on the best selling products. But not only is this a good way to spy on these stores to find those products, but it is also good for you to spy on them to find potential niches which have a high demand right now. Especially for those stores which are more consistent, if you are able to go onto that specific store, you're going to be able to identify those niches which can make you a real good amount of money and it is more consistent rather than something that is seasonal. But these were the three specific ways on how you can exactly spy on stores. We covered eBay stores as well as Shopify, Exchange, and Flippa. But use these techniques to really spy on these stores, see what's out there, see what is selling so that you can benefit from this. But if you haven't already looked at my Facebook ads course, it is currently on sale for $50 off. Just use the code THANKYOU50. Do join the course because there has not been a better time to jump onto Facebook ads and achieve results just like the ones I do or just like the ones my students have. But I'll see you guys next time.